Hey guys, so welcome back to another makeup tutorial. I know I haven't done a makeup tutorial in a while, but I thought since I was doing all these back to school videos, now that I finished those, now I can come back to my normal makeup tutorials and normal DIYs. So today I wanted to do this all drugstore product makeup tutorial that can be used for a back to school. So I hope that you guys enjoy this look and if you guys want to know how I got this look or how to create this look, then please keep on watching. And also, please don't forget to subscribe if you are not already subscribed. Hit that subscribe button. It's totally free and all you get is makeup looks and DIYs, other videos from me. I love you guys so much. And yeah, so if you guys want to keep on watching, please keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off by priming my eyes with this NYX High Definition Eyeshadow Base. And I'm just going to apply it on my lids. I'm just going to dab it with my finger just to get the product all over the lid. Okay, for my eyeshadow, I'm using this NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette. And this is in Cool Neutrals. And I'm gonna use it with this Morphe M15. I'm gonna start off by applying this whitish color on my brow bone. Next, I'm going to be applying this off-white color. It's like a beige color. Kinda like a skin tone, and I'm gonna apply that on my crease. Next, with this really, really light brown color, I'm going to apply it also on my crease. Next, with my MAC 217 brush, I'm going to grab this reddish brown color and I'm going to apply that on my outer crease and outer lid. Then I'm going to blend just to take away those harsh lines and then bring it to the center of your lid and your crease without adding any more product. Then what I like to do is I like to go back with this Morphe M15 and just blend it out. And this one actually blends way better, which I really love about this brush, is that it just makes everything so smooth. Now using this mauve color, or mauve, I don't know how you pronounce it, also with the MAC 217 brush, I'm going to apply it in the inner part of my lid and work a little bit up to my crease. blend the outer color and the center color just transition both of them together then using this shimmery lilac color I'm going to apply that in my inner corners of my eyelids So now to make my eyes look nice and open and you can look wide awake, I'm going to be using this Rimmel Nude Eyeliner and I'm going to apply that on my waterline. To line my eyes, I'm using Jessie's Girl Liquid Eyeliner in black. This is such an amazing eyeliner. It has been my favorite so far. It's just so easy to work with. Um, very very easy to apply so 
So before I apply my foundation, I'm going to apply this Nivea Men's Pulse Shave Balm. And this is so that my foundation can stick. Make sure that your hand is nice and clean. You don't want to transfer any dirt or germs to your face. Because then it will break out like my face has been doing. So now using my Morphe M439. I'm gonna use it to apply my favorite Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Foundation. And this one is in 50 Natural Beige. So now on to highlighting, I'm using this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and this one is in Fair and I'm just going to apply that underneath on my, underneath my eyes, not underneath, on my eyes <laughs> and I'm going to apply it a little bit on the center of my forehead, the bridge of my nose and a little bit on my chin and I'm going to blend that with this Morphe S3. Now using Flower Beauty's foundation stick, this is in SF8. I'm gonna use this to contour. And I'm gonna apply that on the hollows of my cheeks. And I'm just burning and apply it. A little bit on my temples. Little line on top of my forehead. Underneath my chin. And on the sides of my nose. Using my Morphe E8, I'm going to blend the contour. So to finish off blending my nose, I'm using this Morphe E13 and I really like this one because you can get right in there on your nose and it also blends really well. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of bronzer. I'm using this NYX Matte Bronzer in Deep Tan and I'm just going to apply that with this e.l.f. Mineral Powder Brush. And now to smoothen everything just to make it all look put together, I'm going to use this Physicians Formula Bronzer and this one, it doesn't say a color, but if I find out the color, I'll post it down in the description bar. Actually, I will, uh, I will pack. Actually, I will put down everything that I use in the description bar in case I forgot anything. I'm going to apply this with this e.l.f. complexion brush. I'm just going to apply that all over where I contoured. So 
So now for my highlights, you can use either one of these. These are amazing. This one is the Revlon Mineral Finishing Powder. And this one is the e.l.f. Bake Blush, but this one is in Pinktastic and it has an awesome highlight. Um, this one, I actually got online because there's no more, so I'm just going to go ahead and just use the e.l.f. one since this one is a lot easier to get Target, of course. So I'm going to apply this one and I'm going to apply that with my Morphe M529. And as you can see, it has an amazing highlight. And for only $3, you cannot even pass that. Like, really, like this is amazing. And for the center of my nose, I'm going to apply that with the, this MAC 210 SE. I believe that's it. The numbers are already fading away, but I'm going to apply that in the center. I'm not going to go all the way down. Then I'm just going to go right there. For blush, I'm using this Wet n Wild blush and this one is in Heather Silk and I'm going to apply that with my MAC blush brush. For my lashes, I'm using these Ardell Wispies. Okay, so now that I've applied my lashes, I'm going to use this MAC pencil brush and I'm going to spray it. And I'm going to be applying this like a white icicle color. And I'm going to apply that in the inner corners of my eyes. And using my Morphe E36, this is a very, very tiny little brush. This is good for um, doing detail on your eye or for even for your crease if you're going to do a cut crease. But anyway, I'm going to use this and I'm going to apply this dark purple color right underneath my eyes or on my lower lash line I meant to say. Okay, and now just to um, have your makeup stay on for a very long time, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray and I'm going to apply it before I apply my lipstick. So, so for my lower lashes, I'm going to be applying this Smashbox X-Rated Mascara and I'm just going to apply a little bit. And for my last step, I'm applying this NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick and this one is in Sandstorm. I absolutely love this lipstick. It honestly goes with anything, any look, any eyeshadow. So yeah, I'm just going to apply this one. And this is the completed look. I hope that you guys like this look it's, and that it was easy to follow. It's an easy look to create 
and you can wear it anywhere for school it's not too dramatic so that's why I like this because you can wear it throughout the day and even at night time so I hope that you guys enjoyed this look if you guys have any other requests that you guys would like to see let me know I am always open to any suggestions and yeah I love you guys so much if you guys have any questions also leave them down below as always I love you guys bye guys